Welcome to Bike Comparos. Today we'll be comparing the Honda Shine SP versus the CB Unicorn. Pricing and features. The bike that Honda has brought back from the grave, the Honda Unicorn retails for 78,000 rupees on road Delhi, which is 7,000 rupees more than the Shine SP disc variant costing 71,000 rupees. Shine SP is also available in CBS version, which retails for 73,000 rupees on road Delhi. Fuel efficiency. In our back-to-back -back tests, the CB Unicorn returned a respectable efficiency of 51 kmpl. The Shine SP was 5 kmpl more efficient than the Unicorn, returning a mileage of 56 kmpl. Which means the Honda Unicorn will burn throughout an additional 7,000 rupees worth of petrol over a usage of 60,000 km. Performance and tractability There seems to be a hardly any difference in the power to weight ratio and torque to weight ratio of these two bikes on paper. But in reality, the Unicorn delivers an immensely superior engine feel over the Shine. Unicorn's engine feels noticeably more refined, free revving and torqueier than the Shine. Even the Unicorn's exhaust note is delightfully smooth and sporty compared to the Shine's. Handling and Ride Quality Unicorn's longer wheelbase, wider rear tire and monoshock rear suspension gives it a huge advantage over the Shine. It has much more mature and comfortable ride than the Shine SP. It absorbs the bumps and ruts far more effortless than the Shine SP and holds its line much better around the curves. The Unicorn also feels more stable at high speeds and maintains its better composure over a series of undulations than the Shine. Resale and Cost of Ownership 5-7 to seven years old Unicorn holds fantastic residual value compared to the Shines of a similar vintage. Thanks to almost 20,000 rupees advantage in resale price over the Shine, the Unicorn more than makes up for its highest acquisition cost as well as its higher fuel cost and ends up being 3,000 rupees cheaper than a Shine SP in terms of total cost of ownership. That brings us to the verdict. The Unicorn is a clear winner of the test. For the same overall expenditure as the Shine, it offers much better ride comfort, superior road holding, punchy mid-range and last but not the least, a sonorous exhaust note that will accompany you for as many years as you decide to keep the bike. Even if it would have been 15-20% to 20 more expensive than the Shine, it still would have been our pick of the test.